Here's a fact. Entitled Karens are everywhere. It's incredible how someone can be so entitled and not even realize it. However, watching these videos is always a great way to laugh at their ridiculousness. In fact, the videos that you find on this YouTube channel introduce you to some of the most outrageous Karens out there. The best part about watching these Karen videos is that you can share them with your friends and family. You'll never know which one of these Karens will strike again. So why not be prepared? Watch Entitled Karen videos now and get your daily dose of hilarity. In this next clip, we have a food delivery standoff. The food delivery person refuses to go upstairs to deliver the food to the customer. The customer is recording and they refuse to come downstairs because they say it's too cold outside. Now we have a standoff. Watch what happens. It's just absolutely nuts. Based on what happens, who do you think is the Karen? Yeah, but from the Hello. Can you come and collect your food? Um, yeah, but can you come and bring it up? No, I can't. Can you come and collect it, please? No, I need you to bring it up, please, because it's cold. COVID guidelines. COVID guidelines. I can't come. COVID guidelines. Yeah, but I'm cold, though. Everyone's been putting it up what? there. I'm cold. Everyone's been putting my food upstairs. I don't care. I'm not everyone. I'm Deliveroo. Yeah, but some delivery as well, darling. You're no different. I'm, can you see the badge? Can you see the badge? I'm professional. You're no different, darling. I need my food upstairs, please. Come on, get it. I'm not going up there. You think I'm walking from the stairs? No, because I need my food upstairs. I ordered it. I'm not going up. I'm not going downstairs, darling. No, I'm not going downstairs. No, but bring, bring my food up. What's wrong with you, man? Come on, collect it. You've got your dumbass kebab and your... Yeah, yeah, nuggets. Please come and collect. Yeah, but I told you that I am hey, cold. You are the delivery driver. Can you just come and collect the food? You are the delivery just driver. Come and just come and collect your food. I'm not coming. I'm not coming there. I'm you are the delivery driver. Are you stupid? Yeah, go on. Go on. I'm recording. Go on. Try eat my food. Go on. Go on. Big man from delivery. Yeah, go on. Eat my food then. Stupid man. Yeah, go on. You're a nugget. Yeah, yeah. Eat that. Yeah, I'm zooming on your face. Yeah. <gasps> wow. You mother. I hope you get fired. Oh yeah. Yeah, basically. Wow. You can make me come upstairs. Are you? Are you? Are you normal? Are you a fool? You're a fool. You dirty mother. Get out of here. I will come downstairs and beat your ass up. You're talking too much. I will come get you in a minute and beat you up for doing that. Come. Idiot. Who are you anyway? Who do you think you are? It's your job. It's your job to bring food. That's what you do, isn't it? No, you're not. You, you can't even do your job right. Throw my food in that. You're stupid, guy. Professional. I ate your food. What are you gonna do? Nothing. You're an idiot, man. Keep going, man. Keep doing your deliveries, you woo. Stop giving me. Stop giving me nonsense. I don't want to hear you. Yeah. Get out of here, man. Get out of here with your foolishness. Go. I don't care. You're losing your job today. You know what I mean? I'm gonna come collect the food. She doesn't wanna come. Uh, we are tired for. Yeah, tired for. Can you see? I'm not coming there. You have to come here. You are, you are tired for. Can you, can you tell her? She's talking too much. She's just telling me come upstairs. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do your job, man. She's very silly. Do your job. It's your job. You got one job. One job, mate. Can you tell? Can you imagine? Show this God's day. Tier four. Can you imagine? Paris said. Can you imagine? Just tell her, she's very silly, very silly, very silly woman. Bye. In this clip, we have a male Karen Uber driver who's upset with a passenger who he said just slammed his door. So the male Karen gets out of his vehicle and chases the passenger down and even maces him. But the passenger gets the last laugh. You wanna slam my door again like that again? What? You wanna slam my door? No, don't tell me. I can punch you. Go I'm going to punch you. Stop stop chasing me. Come on. Why are you macing me? Come on. What did I do to you? What did I do to you? Come here. What did I do to you? Come here, man. What did I do to you? Why did you mace me? You what I did was get out of your car. Slam the door. Come here. 
I did it. You did. I'm gonna punch you if you keep following me, oh, man. God. Stay away from me. Punch me, man. Stay away from me. Punch me. You mace me in my face. Punch I didn't me. do anything to you. Punch me. I can slam your door. You, you don't need to mace me. Stay away from me. Come here. Stay away from Come me. Here. Stay away from me. Good. Good boy. You're gonna get your man. Dude, you just mace me. I can punch you directly in the face. Go ahead. Idiot, look at your face. What would you do if you saw this male Karen while sitting at a red light? This male Karen is randomly kicking cars and jumping on their trunks. Oh, Leroy, it's green flag activity, you heard me? You heard me? Yeah, I'm yeah. from the booth, you heard me? My name's Trey on Leroy. You heard me? Yeah. Great light like this. It's a problem. It's a problem. Come here. Come here. It's a problem. Hey, it's no problem. Hey, let me up. You heard me? Oh, Leroy, green flag. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where you going? Like, oh, yeah, what up? Here we have a typical Karen who doesn't mind her own business. She sees a guy with a dog and his dog is not on the leash, so she tells him you need to put your dog on the leash. Well, okay, she might have a point there. But what she does once he tries to take a video of her license plate is bizarre. You cannot do that. Are you a dog up? You fing piece of What are you? Are you even white? You're not white, huh? Do that. You can't keep him out here. You're entertaining. Dude, I'm, on, I'm on the phone with the cops right now. They're going to come get your dog and put him down. Don't touch me. Piece of shit. This male Karen, you know the one that you see there, who is dipped in gold? <laughs> he's impatient, he's rude, and he's a fibber. I understand that we're all are waiting, but I under, uh, well, that's not how I work. I make the rules as I go. Well, it's... Well, I make the rules as I go. I don't know about you, but I do. <laughs> well, I break them. <laughs> um, guess what? And I'm breaking them right now, too. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Hey, 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 Yes, we do. Hostile. He is yes. rude. He's right. knocking people yes. over. Don't be rude to me because one thing I can do is be rude back to you. It's what I can okay. be. Okay. Oh. Let's just take it down. I am, but I'm just saying, she's talking I'm hostile, but I can be rude as well. I didn't push no damn body. You want to stand in a way like you're a bodyguard. In this clip, we have a Karen who went bra shopping. But when things didn't go her way, she had a complete meltdown and lucky for us she documented the whole thing so a single mom here who can't ever go anywhere and i finally have a babysitter so i can come in here trying to goddamn bra so i can buy a bra that fits me 
I'm in here before closing. It is now, I don't know when I started this, now 8.35. They close at 9. I have all my stuff. They helped me fill the bag. They measured me to try on to see what size my fit was so I could go try them on. I put the things in. They let me try on five bras and they take the bag and tell me I can't try on more and I need to leave. I cannot try on more because not everybody tries on a goddamn bra even though they told me I knew I don't know the size and now I'm leaving. All the stores are closed and I have no bra. I have no babysitter. I get a babysitter to come here and now I have no bra, no babysitter and... Ma'am, are you doing okay? I am great! Okay, I'm gonna make you calm down please. We have other... I was trying to buy a bra. She will not let me try on this. I already was trying on the bras and she took them and said I can't finish trying them on. I have a babysitter to come make this a try on. I just wanted to buy some bras and she no, won't let me. Not, she won't let me. No, it's not that we're not letting you. We let you try on five. It's, five it's not five. nine yet. I tried on five and I asked her to trade them out and she says it's time to go. Not everybody. We're closing. You can't have more. I wanted to trade them out. That's all I wanted to do. She refused to let me do it. Okay, well, you can trade them out. I'm Don't you even stand there giving me no, looks, lady. I just want to try on a bra. Please, I have a babysitter. It's the only time I can get a bra. Okay, well, can I get your five items back and I'll give you five more? I have them. I asked her to do that. She told me no. Not every she said I cannot do it. The fitting rooms are closed. Ma'am. Why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? She's so rude. You're scaring the rest of our customers. Well, she scares me. I just yeah. wanted to try yeah. on the bra. Yeah. That's yeah. all I wanted. We have other customers and we have children as well. So then can I just finish trying my bra on in here quietly by myself like I was doing before she starts doing that to me? She's not doing anything to you, ma'am. She is doing her, her job. Her job of telling me you're not closed. Her job is to tell me you're closed. You need to no, I was house the fitting room closed. I'm already in here in a bra when you told me to leave. Yeah, calm down. Please. I just wanted to try on some bras. Ma'am, and go. you are scaring the other customers. She's They're scaring me. Right out of here. No, you need to stop recording. That is illegal. It's not illegal to record. Okay, okay. It, is. it is, ma'am. It is. I'm going to ask you to please stop. And if you can't stop scaring the children that are in store. There's no children scaring. I was just trying on a bra. Okay. All I asked was to switch out the bras. That is all I did. Ma'am, you scare children that are out She here. scares okay. me. Not doing anything to you. So you're telling me how I feel. <laughs> Ma'am, she is following the rules. We are allowed to give you five items at a time. I was in your trying. Yeah, and I asked her to trade out. So what? Why can't I finish trying on the five? She told me I had to leave. When well, you were yelling. I was not yelling. You were I was yelling after she told me I had to leave. Ma'am, if you can, I sit down and talk to you properly. I okay. Can I talk recording. to you? Okay. Okay. I came in the store. Yes, ma'am. And you can stop recording. I came in the store. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try on some bras. I brought the bag in. She said, take five, leave the rest on the counter. I took five. I left the rest on the yeah, counter. That I came. That I had no problem with that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I put them. I came in here and I tried on the five bras. Yes. As I'm trying them on, I hear them say, well, we were trying to close down, da, 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 da. but they already told me to come in here, and the girl helped me along yeah, the way. To, she she knew I was trying them on when she yeah. was helping me, and the girl that helped me, that told me I had to leave. Yeah. She also told, she was also helping me find bras to yeah. try on. Correct. So then when I come in here to try them on, mm -hmm. I come in here, I'm trying on my five. She says, can I help you? And I said, yeah. I said, these five, can I trade these out for five more? And she says, actually, the fitting rooms are closed. Yes, and they are. But I'm in here already, I'm in a bra, I'm in that red bra. Okay. As I'm asking if I could trade them out. Yeah. So how are they close if I'm in here trying on literally that red bra in your arm? Okay. And so, so I said, can you just trade it out for me? That's and it. So why are you behaving the way are you? Because I asked her. If, are adults. I'm still, can, I'm still need, speaking. There is no need to act the way you are acting. No, we can I finish? Adults. We are adults. So How am I acting? I asked if I could trade out the five. I asked if she could trade out the five, and she told me the fitting rooms are closed. How am I acting like a child? She told me the fitting rooms. Will you stop yelling? Will you stop yelling? I'm not yelling. I was just trying to try. You can come around, or you can leave the store. Either or. You can calm down, or you can leave the store. There is no need to behave like this. None. Would you like to continue to try on your bras or would you like to leave the store? I wanted to continue the talk I wanted from the store. Okay, so I need you to calm down and I need you to treat everyone in here with respect, please. We are following. I would our... like for you to treat me with respect. We are, and I am. And I am talking to you calmly and I'm asking you calmly to calm down. 
before I ask you. Because I'm having an anxiety attack. I need you to calm down because we have other customers and you are causing a scene. You are scaring everyone else. You are scaring your children. You are not behaving like an adult. So please behave as such and we will treat you as such. So can you please calm down? Can you just step away and let me breathe so I can just leave? Okay. Just, what was your name, please, though? My name is Laura Van. Laura? Yes, ma'am. And what was her name? I do not have to You do know her name. She already told me I forgot her name. I do know her name. What's her name? But I'm not giving you her name. I'm giving you my name uh -huh. because I am the manager on duty right now. Laurel? Laura yeah. or Laurel? Yeah, Laura. Laura. Okay. I do not have to give you her name, and I won't give you her name okay. for security purposes. Okay? And That's fine. Thank you. Uh -huh. Calm down. Thank Take you. Give you breath. And when you are ready, I will step out. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you have an awesome night. I hope I can find a babysitter again, maybe find a bra, and maybe your, your chick knows when the store closes because it still ain't closed. But you told me to leave and not try on the bra. I'll never come back here again. <laughs> That was the absolute worst experience of my life. I never had a chance to get to the mall. I was so excited to go shopping. So excited. I wouldn't even normally keep recording, but it keeps my mind on something other than. <laughs> All I asked was for a tree out the bra. Robert, <laughs> Something tells me it's not this Lyft driver's first day on the job. Watch how she shuts this Karen down and stops her in her tracks before she can really get going. More so I can get the seatbelt done. Because <laughs> I can't move my arm. I don't have half of it. Where's your assistant? In jail and in rehab. Okay. Because they decided to Ooh. exit him. And none of the staff here wanted to accommodate me. And then I had to go to the bathroom because the ride canceled. And I've been waiting here for 25 minutes. Uh huh. Nothing personal. But I'm not in the mood right now. I'm trying to get my mask on and my mail in that they gave me, she but needs, I can't feel my fingers. She needs help buckling. She no, says you she need to help me buckle. You're the 
Oh, I'm canceling. She just said, uh-uh. You know what? I'm not. She's out. She's out. I am not going to put up with this. Wow. Are you serious? I am. I just canceled you. Out of my car. So I've missed the bus before, I've missed the flight before, and I've even missed the ferry, and that was my fault because I didn't get there early enough. This Karen misses the ferry and blames everyone else and then has a temper tantrum. In this clip, Karen, who's a tenant in an apartment building, put a sign on the exit door saying that door is to remain closed at all times. One of the other tenants had to do the laundry, so he propped the door open. Karen saw this and did not like what she saw. Someone's disobeying a Karen order. I left you a nice quiet note and said, leave the, talk to leave the, the Talk to the camera. It says, do not, it says, please keep this how store about, closed about, at all times. Oh, about, she tried to kick me. I tried to get it back. She tried to kick me, now she won't move. No. Would you move, please, and let me in my apartment building? Oh, please. Move. Please go move. in your apartment. Move, lady. Look no, at, she's no, touching no. me. She's no, harassing no. me. I'm not Look at her. Look at her. Touch you with this is Liz table. Wallace. Yeah. She's and chasing me down the hall. I'm oh, trying yeah. to go down and do my laundry. But look at her. Yes. She's yes. nuts. Come on, Liz. We're going to go shut this door, too. Yeah, well, I'll be right behind you. Okay. Do you want to see what a male Karen looks like talking on the phone? Here it is. In the time that we've managed, with you making accusations, you said we're going to jail, you said we're committing fraud. I can't go round and round in circles like this. So let's have this conversation. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 I've listened to you. I've listened to you for uh, 10 minutes now. Listen to me. I, I can't. Here we have a Karen who looks to be the manager of a communal living space. So a bunch of people live together, they each have a room, and then they have a common area. Now, Karen is telling this tenant that she's going to have the locks changed on his room so he won't be able to get in. But then Karen takes it 10 steps too far and gets extremely personal. He's changing the locks right now, by the way. He's doing that right now, so if you were to leave out today, I don't know. Mm. Not to be done, and you know what? U-Haul storage on Mass Ave. That's where it'll all be, and I'll pay for it. You're not gonna touch my stuff. Oh, I already got people coming. I already got people coming. Believe it, because you can't lock that. Huh? Well, I'm gonna go to work later, Believe so. It. Well, good, 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 good. Just good. don't touch my stuff. Good. I promise you, on Jesus Christ, your <laughs> will be out of here tomorrow, and you're playing with the island. I'm letting you know that right now. Like I said, all that will be gone, locks changed, and I'll say I never knew you. And the thing on the thing is not even mine. <laughs> it's not even mine, it's fake. <laughs> what are you talking about, what's fake? <laughs> eh, eh, I got you, hey. What's fake? It's raw, it ain't even mine. Mm. What's fake? Mm, 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 mm. I know what I be doing. That's wrong. <laughs> what's fake? It ain't even mine. <laughs> Your signature? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know what I be doing, yo. I know the game. It's not even mine. Look at it. Go look at it. Go look at it. <laughs> Cause it's your lights here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna even let it out, but it's not even mine. It ain't even mine. It ain't even mine. Ain't no mail came here. You got to prove it. You got to prove it. You got to prove it. But you can't. Okay. So therefore, bye bye, bye bye. And so now, this time tomorrow, you'll be gone, and I'll be at peace. You done? You wouldn't be popping all this. I gotta go, you done? You wouldn't be popping on it. Walk out that door. I bet you when he's done, you won't be able to get back in. You'll have to ring that doorbell. And you know what? I plead the fifth. I don't know who that is. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I know how to do it. Believe that. 
Uh, you know. You so know. can you just confirm, since you're a tough guy, can you just confirm that's what's wrong? Yours? That's wrong. What was fake? That's wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, so I'm, now you shut up because the camera's going. I don't know what you're talking about. You're saying what's fake. I don't know what you're talking about. You're yeah, that's fake. Go look at it. Go look at it. Go look at it. Go look at it. It's wrong. So, you have no grounds, buddy boy. You're weird. Yeah, you got issues. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. No, weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> uh, so you get it now? Uh, uh, you got played. <laughs> Uh, you got played. <laughs> That's why he left because he know he got played. You got played too. You are a disgrace. And right now when you close the door, your silent thoughts, you're so sad inside. You are. You're sad inside. You really are. I feel bad for you. I know when you close the door, you'll probably cry. You'll probably go back into your little and get sad again. Yeah, yeah, you will. You will. Have your fun now, but when that door closed, we know what psychological problems go on. We know you go into your deep thoughts. We know you do that. We know, I know that. I've been in the medical field long enough to know. When that door closed, you're a very sad soul, a very lonely soul. I know that. I can see it. I can tell by looking in your eyes, you're dead inside your eyes. There's no life, there's no happiness, there's no nothing. You don't even have a girlfriend. If you did, you'd go live with her. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You really should. You got your little job now. No, you don't. You're not working. You're not working. You're a liar. I don't believe nothing you say. Everything you say is a lie. But I tell you what, the locks will be changed tomorrow. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I look down on people like you. You see the bottom of my shoe? That's where you belong. And I step on people like you, maggot. Thank and you. your whole family are all rats. Thank you. Because look at the little product. The apple don't fall too fuck you up the tree. Thank you. Uh, Please. Thank you. You need help. help. I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be you in the shattered. You just stop. You need to be in the shattered. Just stop. You know what? If you were my kid, you wouldn't do you abortion that lived. Oh. I would have aborted your Because you know what? You crazy. I'm glad you when the constable get here, you are not gonna say that. Yeah, and you're probably friends with him too. I am So what if I did? He's a constable. He ain't gonna break the rules for me. That's one thing they're not gonna lose their job over me. Well, Three months probation? Yeah. There's no yeah. such thing. It's yeah. It's what I do. It's my it's my rules and I don't want to and I agree Here we have a male Karen who went to a hotel to yes, book a room. Not only that, However, said, once he started complaining and identifying you know, himself and as a problem customer, why, why the clerk decided she was not going to rent to him. When she asked him to leave, he wouldn't leave, that. so she called the police. No. Let me tell you right she, now, she's I giving the police policy. a description of him, yes, and the first thing she says is he's a black man. Listen to his crazy reaction to I'm that statement and i agreed to pay the people what they asked for no you didn't yes i did not only that i give you my card i said hey here's the card right here right, you know go ahead you and then take it why why are you asking me to leave because you've already said you're not happy you do not want to stay here i didn't her. say that i've already <laughs> said no let me tell you right now i said screw the policy i said F the policy yes i did i'm not happy with the policy it's a bad policy for local people I'm not belligerent. I said, take my money. You were. You kind of were. No, I wasn't. Okay. Explain kind of. Let, let me explain kind of work. Can you, can you explain kind of work? He doesn't like the policies. And you're asking the person to leave after I've already paid my money. So go right ahead. Yeah. yeah. So I've asked him to leave the He's a black man. <laughs> Why gotta be black? Oh lord, I can't wait for this. Oh lord, I was already bad as he is. He's a black male? Oh my god, of, of all the things right now? Not because of me, I'm not disrespecting you. I didn't disrespect you as a person. I said I don't agree with the policy. And if I don't agree with the policy, it's okay to say I don't agree with the policy. So you know what? 
God bless you. God bless this establishment. Because he's a black male. Oh my God, thank you. Here we have a male Karen who is having a conversation over the phone with a manager of a cheesecake factory. The conversation didn't go how he liked, so male Karen decides to show up in person and this happens. Yeah, are you a manager I was just talking to? Yes. So why, how do you justify like your actions? How do you justify your actions? Do you not want to be recorded so you can lie your way out of something? Okay, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to start recording. You Why? Don't play, you don't want to place the order. That Cheesecake Factory has made a grave mistake. If you don't understand that, just you being a manager, you don't, you, you don't become Hitler, or you're just a horrible human being. That's creepy. It's like, why are you going crazy and trying to attack me? Have I said anything that doesn't make sense? What have I said that doesn't make sense? Your feelings don't make it not make sense. What have I done? He's going to call security on me at the Cheesecake Factory like he's the CEO. That's so creepy. I haven't even done anything. Well, no, but you're not the CEO. Wouldn't the CEO want to know this is happening here? If these things think their emotions are more important than doing their job because they never grew up and they want to dominate because they're less than a person and never going to get better. Isn't that something that the CEO would want to know? <laughs> that they're hiring things that mistreat customers? I'm not on the clock here and you're trying to laugh at me and I'm disabled and have autism. Look at this thing trying to laugh at someone with autism. Yeah, she's a thing. She's a monster. She's trying to bully me. Yeah, she's trying to bully me and she's even arrogant about it. Why would everybody, why would everybody attack someone and think, you are. I'm not even saying anything that doesn't make sense. Um, You're a you narcissist. Are. Yeah, you are. You're a narcissist. Why do you deserve to have a job if you can't control your emotions like a two-year-old? Explain that. Why don't you deserve to have a job? Why do you think everyone has to baby you? Why can't I make this order? I'm not doing anything. Hey, just a minute, they don't come talk to you though. Very funny too. Why, I, you, do they have an ADA policy? Didn't they train you on an ADA policy? Did they train you on the ADA policy? They're acting like me making sense is wrong. Why do they think their feelings are more important than making sense? I would kill myself if I thought my feelings were more important than making sense. We worry about murdering folks and ending world hunger and real stuff. We don't put our feelings as a priority and try to laugh our way out of trouble. Anyone normal who can get right, because you're not a young adult, there's only adults. When you never develop, I would kill myself if I couldn't separate someone talking from information. You have a picture of me in my head where I'm making the information. Why can't you understand the information without having a visual or like, okay, if you shouldn't hear yourself, why can't you understand the information instead of separating my image? You're trying to beat up me and attack me because I said something you can't explain. That's creepy. That's what they, that's why everyone hates narcissists. You know, when they're a weak thing that wants the world to cry for them and dominate and f up stuff. Why do you want to mess up stuff? Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> this is creepy. Did you call the police? I haven't even done anything. I'm glad I got this on video.